this video will attempt to show you how to set up a Google Doc for taking attendance in your classes. So we'll set up two classes and uh, we'll look at how to view the form, uh, the live form in those classes, and uh, how to uh, create a spreadsheet that shows the responses or the data that you put in each day. And uh, yeah, that that that's that'll be enough to cover here. And the thing to uh, know about Google and Google Docs is that it runs through a service that Google calls Google Drive, and that it timestamps everything with the day and the exact time that you submit the form. So you'll never have to worry about uh, worry about the day and the time. That's going to be the automatic or the uh, the real convenience of it. So there's probably from the screen we're looking at here, this is the, you have to have a Gmail account to do this. Uh, Google uh, has Gmail uh, as a service and a, a boatload of others. YouTube, uh, Google Drive, which is your Google Docs uh, entry point. And there's probably a way to get to it from the screen, but the easiest way to do it and how I'm doing it now is to go to Google and just type Google Drive and when you click on Google Drive you'll automatically be logged in you can see over here is my email address and uh, this is where my my Google Docs will eventually show up so Google Docs is something that's offered in uh, the Google Drive service so we'll create two forms or two classes we'll look at to how to view the live form and uh, also how to view the results or the responses or the data that you're putting in each time. Uh, and once it's set up, it's it's pretty slick. It's uh, not a whole lot of effort. So you go to create and you're going to create a form. Okay, and the title for this form will be the period first. Okay, uh, and you can choose a form. Here's a simple one, blue form and click OK. Okay, so you can see the name of the form is up here and up here and we'll call this the, the, the primary function of, of the form in this video will be how to set up an attendance document or attendance form. Okay, so we're going to create a series of, of uh, check boxes then we'll check the students who aren't here uh, and we'll not check the students that are here. So only the students who are absent will go into this form, will go into this data database. And you can assume that if you don't check off the box, the students were here. Okay, and so we don't want a multiple choice form. We want a checkbox form because multiple choice would only, if you had 30 students, let you choose one. We want check boxes because there could be you know, five people, ten people absent. Uh, so you've got attendance uh, with the note that it, the people that you check will be absent. Then you can just go ahead and enter the student. We've already entered the class. So we'll put um, Mark, Mike. All right, so we'll put three students in this class and we'll hit done. So this form is, is pretty much ready to go. So I'll go up here and hit open Google Drive that'll bring me back to this main screen and you can see it's changed I now have a form here okay so and we can go into this form and now we're in the editing screen so we could click here and add students or remove students or we could go up here where it says view live form and this is what it's going to look like uh, when it's live when it's on your phone or whatever device you decide to, to enter the the information from. So if I said, okay, Mark and Mike aren't in class right now, just submit, sit, submit, it's done. It's logged the time and the day that they were not in class. Okay, and uh, we'll look at one more thing hopefully here at the end to show you how to make notes if t kids do come in or if you forget to mark somebody absent. Uh, all right, so I can close this out close this out. Every time you use Google Drive, you click on something, it opens in a new window, so you, you're never going to get uh, lost or close something out by accident. Here we are back at our, our home screen for Google Drive. You can see period one algebra. I'm going to go again and create another class. So I'll create a form 
and this will be period two algebra again we'll put an H for honors now we can pick another color form use the same one okay and this will be again attendance and this will be uh, people who are absent we're going to change this from multiple choice to check boxes so we can check multiple students. We'll enter some students here. All right, so we're done. That form, that's how it'll look. This is still the editing screen. You can change it. Again, you can click on this, add students, get rid of students, move students around. If Sally's, you know, you have an alphabetical order and you know Sally's regularly absent, you want to move her to the top of the list, you can do that. All right, so we go back to the main screen, and you see that we have two forms. Uh, I'll go into my algebra class. I'll click View the Live Form. And today, Sally is the only one absent, so I'll hit Submit. Close that. Go back to the main screen. Assume today is another day. Well, really, it's minutes later. But we'll go into Algebra 1 again. We'll view the Live Form. And we'll say Brian's absent. We'll hit Submit. Uh, this is just in order to get some data in so we can take a look at it. Go back here, um, go into this Algebra Honors class, view the live form. We'll say Sally and Betty are absent. We'll hit Submit. Okay, so the next the next thing to do will be to go back to this home screen. Here are the forms. So if, when you pull this up, you'll go into these forms. And when you do it on a mobile device, it's, it's, it's pretty handy because you won't have to click view the live form. Uh, there may be a way to actually go directly to the live form here too, likely a direct link. But so if we were to go into this algebra class, now we want to see the information or see the data. It says we've got two responses. I'll close that. And there may be another way to do this, but we can choose uh, choose response destination. And this is just going to create a spreadsheet or a response destination where we can view the responses that we, uh, we've, we've entered so far. So I'll just hit Create. And when we go back here, we can see that here's the forms. And you can see this kind of looks a little different. This is a spreadsheet. I can click on my responses. And I've got timestamps of who was in class and who wasn't in class. OK. I'll go back to the home screen. I'll make a, uh, I'll do this again and make a response or a spreadsheet or a data spot, a place for my information to go for the honors class. And I'll go to choose response destination and just hit create. It's ready to go. It's going to do a new spreadsheet and call it responses. Create it. Go back to my home space. And this goes fast. You just rewind the, uh, the video or back, go back. So the first thing we did, we created these two forms. The next thing we did, we went into the form and, and created a, a place for the data to go. So now, and you can see we go into the, the responses for algebra. We've got timestamps of the day and the time of when they weren't there. All right. So the next thing to do here now, I'll try to remember where this is, is to create a folder. I'm going to create a folder and just call it a data folders and I'll put the the data in a separate spot so I only have my form visible so I'm just going to call this data and I'll call it responses and hit create now I have a folder there I'll drag these responses up into the data folder again there, there are probably m multiple ways to do this now I just have my forms out in front and if I were want to go to the data I can click in here and there and there you can close this. You can always go up to the Google Drive and bring you back to your home spot. So that's it. You know, we you, you pretty much go in here up to the live form, go to view the live form, and this is a, a permanent link up here. Uh, Brian's absent today. You hit submit. You can close it. Uh, you go back to your home spot here. Algebra. Betty. Oops. We're in the edit screen. We've got to go to the view live form screen. Betty's absent today. I hit submit. You know, and all, all the while, this is logging the data. And you just would do this each each day. Now, your list will probably be a little longer, obviously. So the last uh, the last additional thing that's pretty simple to do is this, is to edit the form and put a little note section in. So I'll go in here, and we'll add an item, and we'll call it, uh, uh, well, it's a, um, you could probably use a couple of these. You could probably use text. Well, I'll choose paragraph text 
and I'll just uh, I'll just title this class notes and this will be a place in the form in addition to collecting attendance where you can make notes people came late people were sleeping people read uh, people uh, did something for extra credit <clears throat> and we hit done and this should just serve as an open area now in the form if we go and check it out you know where you can you can add anything additional that you want so here we are in the live form we can say that mark was absent and uh, you know that Mike uh, you can just put Mike late uh, Brian slept okay and you hit submit and now we're not only uh, we're entering attendance data but we've got that little box down there where we can add uh, additional data whatever whatever it happens to be we go in our honors class we can say that Sally was absent whoops we're in the edit view sorry in the live view we can say in this day uh, Sally was absent uh, and if we had the note area we could add a note so let's add a note to this and we'll put Sally was absent Okay, so how do you add that comment section again? Uh, we go into the live form, go into add an item, and choose paragraph, and we'll just type again, we'll label this class notes. And now that section will be in our live form. We look at our live form. Here we are. Sally was absent. Uh, Betty late. Uh, and uh, Tammy, no homework. Okay, and you could even put extra credit assigned uh, due Friday. Whatever notes you want to make, you can go in throughout the whole class and do this. Uh, so we submit it. We said that Sally was uh, Sally late oh, yeah okay Sally's not there and Betty and Tammy there were notes on both of them so if we go back to the Google Drive now here are our forms remember we can go into the data data spot and here's the responses now the thing that's going to change is you'll, you'll see a, an addition of this class notes section we go back and we look at the honors class data now you can see you've got a, a note section here and uh, that's that's how to set up uh, a basic uh, a basic form for collecting attendance and making class notes or comments uh, with Google Docs using Google Drive and having a Gmail account. You can download an app for your phone, and it'll take you right into the forms. Uh, and uh, it's actually a little easier to maneuver, and you can you, you know you always. Uh, many of us always have our phone with us what else uh, the only other thing is from time to time you know you, you miss someone is absent uh, so if that happens happens to me uh, you can go into algebra and let's say you know it's it's period one algebra I'm at the live form I put Mark's absence and uh, uh, Mike did the extra credit okay so I hit submit and uh, I realize, oh, hey, wait a minute. Uh, Brian did the extra credit too, or Brian was also absent. I can just go back into the form, you know, even if it's at the end of the class, because this is time stamped. So you can always go back to the day and the time and kind of know exactly what period it was, where you were. And it's also labeled the period. I say, oh, you know what? Brian also absent. And I can make a note uh, if I want to. Uh, but I don't necessarily have to because of the timestamp. So if I close this out, I go back here and I go into the data. I can see um, on the 26. Now these are all the 26, but you know, pretty close. Uh, at 19:07, I noticed that I logged that Mark is absent. Mike did the extra credit, and then I say, oh, you know what, Brian also wasn't there, so I just mark him absent also. And you know you could if someone came in late you could you could add that note. So in a nutshell, uh, that's it. That's how to use Google Drive. That's how I use Google Drive. Uh, 
for uh, for taking attendance and class notes really handy if you have your phone with you you can do it real quickly and uh, what else that's it hope that helps